Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to Sally Face. Now, uh, I know people who know this game will think, what the hell, where did she get that? And people who don't know this game will think, what the hell is that? Well, you'll find out. Now, but I will say I have played the first chapter of this game quite a few times. Uh, but things kept going wrong with recordings last time. So, you know, I've played it, I know what I'm doing, and I've watched other people play the game. But I can't remember much of the actual game. Not anymore, I haven't watched it for a while. Um, yeah. So, Sally Face. Let's see what people think of this game, because it's not that well known. It's kind of like an underground game, I'd say. Uh, so, yeah. Let's see what Sally Face can do for us. Right. It was just like the last time. Only this time, it started in a hospital. Oh god, that's loud. Fuck me. Okay, uh... Yes, here we go. See if this turns out right. Hello? It's okay, Sal. Everything is going to be okay now. Come and see. Who is this? What are you talking about? Where am I? Uh, what are you talking about? Come and see. Weird. Sounded like my dad. Okay, so I will be honest. I'm not the best at doing voices, and I'm not the best at doing... American voices. So, oh god, Oof, uh. I'm not the best at doing American voices. So, if my voices are a bit off or you don't like them, I'm very sorry in advance. Right, what am I doing? Oh god, I can't even remember. Uh, 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 oh. Jeez, I feel bad for Sal. Key. A key. Uh, let's ha let's. Oh, yeah, I couldn't remember how to examine. The key I found on the floor of the hospital room. It has a five on. I shall make notes because I feel like I should. I don't know if you can hear the music. Uh, when I when I tried it, it was very, very loud. So I turned it down a bit. If we all go deaf, I'll s I'm sorry. Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, door's gone, and I'm back to where I was. Except I know I know what to do on this chapter specifically, but not really any others. I haven't oh, three. I haven't got past the first chapter because things kept going wrong. So I'm hoping things won't go wrong this time. Yeah. There's less and less doors every time you go. Um, see, I'm going for G because there was a big dog painting in my room. So, um, wow, that's loud. I turned it down again a bit. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. Huh? Go see for yourself. God, that rain's loud. Oh, there's a six in the tree. Freaking dog. Diane Fisher. Uh, 1948 to 1984. Beloved mother and wife. Well, it's still raining, but it's not all loud. Oh, four. Okay. 
We're just making notes. Batteries included. You can tell I've played this a, a few times. So I'm saying, mm, never mind. Dad, you are not my son. My son is not a murderer. This is your fault. I always forget about that. Hmm. Mom? Are you... <laughs> Some of the close-ups in this game. And that's when I woke up. Hmm, yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later, but for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in, and I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Oh, my throat's already like... Ugh. I've got a deep voice for a girl, but not a deep enough voice for a boy. <laughs> Episode 1, Strange Neighbours. This will be a new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us. I can't do a New Jersey accent. That's why they're just boring British American people. Why don't you go and explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Yay, let's go, Sal. I love my boy. I love him so much that I've cosplayed the dude, that's why I've got the mask. I've got the pants, I've got the shoes, I've got two different wigs. And I even pierced my fucking ears to look like him. That's how far I went with cosplay. Both ears. I was quite proud of that cosplay. I see you've made yourself at home, Gizmo. Must be nice. See, I think Sal's got a very, um, expressionless voice. He doesn't show it much because of his mask. Gear Boy! I made a Gear Boy! If anyone wants to see that, I'll show you. I made my Gear Boy. From scratch. Uh, let's check out the Gear Boy. My gear boy. Looks like it needs new batteries though. I'm getting used to the buttons on controller when I uh, when I played it last time. I played it on the keyboard. Let's go talk to Dad. Hey kiddo, decided to take a break from unpacking. That's not a bad idea. We've been at it for a while now. Maybe I'll take a break myself. What do you think of this place? It may not be nice, it may not be as nice as our old house, but we'll make the best of things. As long as we have each other, I think we can make a real home here. I miss Jersey. I know you do, bud, but please try to give it a chance. School will start in, up in a couple of weeks and then you'll be able to make all new friends. Yeah, I guess so. I know so. Anyone would be lucky to have a friend, have you as a friend, Sal. Thanks, Dad. Mm-hmm. I miss mom. Yeah. Me too, buddy. Me too. I have my voice is already going like blah. Try not to get into too much trouble. Oh my god, the faces I'm gonna be pulling all the way through this because I know what happens in the end. So I'm just gonna be like Sleep aid. Dad still is, has trouble sleeping at night after. Uh, 
I love the way you can hear the rain outside the window. Just some stuff Dad got from the store. Nothing important. Oh, wait! There's a pack of batteries in here. Sweet! And now I have a working gear boy. My gear boy. Now that I have batteries, I just need to find one of my games. Yeah, when I uh, cosplayed as Sal for Comic Con in last year, uh, before uh, COVID and all that struck, I um, made my Gear Boy. <laughs> I bought the mask because I just I'm not good at mask making. I wasn't good at that in college. I'm not going to be good at that now. But I did make my Gear Boy. Uh, if real, it, I'll, I'll have to show you in the next video. I've got it packed away at the moment. But I was, I'm really proud of that. It's probably the one of the best things I've made from scratch. Okay, let's have a look around. I'll shut up about my gay boy. No one's home. Hello. Why are you standing here? I'm protecting those little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram, I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy fucking godmother now. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. <laughs> He's literally talking out the side of his mouth, so. What happened in that room? Please, business kid, why don't you go back to your parents? I wish I could. What was that wise ass? N nothing. That's right. That's what I thought. Stupid weirdo kid. <laughs> the grumble grumble things are. <laughs> okay, where am I going? Let's start. Let's start. Work our way up and. Let's start from up and work our way down. Because I'm near the top and I'm the bottom, so why not? Okay, okay, let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Ooh. People? Huh? There's a small hole here. Can't really see anything on the other side. <laughs> I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Oh my god, I forgot. <laughs> Do I wanna try the door? Yeah, locked. Good. Let's go. <laughs> uh, five or two. Locked. Three, locked. Five, four, open. Hello? Sorry, I, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello, sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I, I'm sorry, I just, I was just trying to get to know my neighbors and a dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Uh, what the? Uh, 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 handprints. <laughs> I forgot most of it. I know what to do, but I forgot all the little bits in between. Sorry, that's weird. The bathroom door is locked. I forgot all the bits in between. I hear rain, that must be a window of some sort. And there's water coming down from the ceiling, so there's a leak. Okay, I think that's it for this floor. Let's go down to three. Even though I know what I'm doing, I'm still having fun exploring. Okay. I can't go over. No, it's home. Uh, hey. Oh my. Sorry, you just startled me a little. You must be one of those new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop and say hi. Uh, yeah, it's, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure. Uh, thanks. You're quite welcome. Lisa's lovely. Um. Oh yeah, let's just carry on talking to Lisa. 
Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sam. What's up? How long have you been working here? Actually, I don't just work here. I live here too. I'm on call 24-7 for any urgent maintenance needs. Despite what you may hear from the others, this is a lovely building. I'm happy to call it home going on 10 years now. It seems like a nice place. You betcha. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over 100 years old, you know. People always complain about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If, you see a pro if I see a problem, I fix it. Yeah, most people don't seem to complain about all the Most people do seem to complain about a lot about the small things. Sorry, I'm getting tongue-tied. You can't sweat the small stuff, Sal. It's just no way to live, you know? You're right. Take it from me. You focus on the good stuff. Focus on what makes you happy in life. Put your energy into that. Change subject. So, uh, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind to such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for f around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sh sure, sure. I'll go say hi. Great. His name's Larry. He'll be in the basement. Tell him I sent you down. You'll need a key card to access it, access it from the elevator, though. Here, take this one. I've got a few extras. Oh, cool. Thanks. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of Addison Apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. Okay. See you around. Now, I think Sal would get really flustered, personally, if someone was, like, just asking him, just talking to him generally, because I don't think he's used to it. I mean, look at him. Poor dude, I, I love Sal. He's an amazing character. Like, there's so much to him that you can't help but love him. So I think he'd be kind of like, uh, uh, you know, stutter every time someone actually asked him a direct question because I don't think he's used to it. Ah! Uh, oh, uh, no, no. I guess no one is home. Uh, no, someone's home. No one's home. No one's home. Yeah, who is it? Uh, hello? I'm new in the building. Just start. Just wanted to introduce myself to my neighbors. Okay, come in. Hi. My name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is that on your face, child? Oh, I know. A young teen. A new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself. I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No. No, nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. These things are like my family, so if you mess in, if you mess with my collections, you mess in with my family, you got it? What is he, the Mafia? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Okay. Charlie reckons he's like the Mafia of all his toys. I mean, so... Yep, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah... Don't worry, anytime I'm home you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you've got. Yeah, it's my own chunk of heaven, just me and my stuff. <sniffs> Do you live alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. 
Be right back. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Triggered. <laughs> Triggered. Oh my god. My god, child, have you never seen my little pony's rainbow spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. It's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could ever want. And the ponies, oh, the ponies, don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh, um, guess I missed that one. I have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. I am regretting ever coming into this room. Um, can I? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. Bye. <laughs> okay. Fucking Charlie is a creepy bastard. Let's carry on. So where am I? Um, get into water. Uh, I'll go down here first. Oh. What's going on? Hello, young man. Just moved in today, correct? Y yes, sir. I already spoke to your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out, that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. Okay, bye. So long. Downtown. Oh dear! What a frightful, uh... Pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. May How may I be of service? How do you know who I am? I know all that takes place within these walls, so you'll do good. You'll do good to remember that. Can I come in? Heavens, no! I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Goodbye. Farewell, friend. Bye, Addison. No one's home. Yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick or treating, isn't it? Ugh. Stupid gut when effing kids grown grown. <laughs> the grumble grumbles are so annoying. Because <laughs> I don't know what sound to make for the grumble grumble. Okay, and last but not least, the basement. We meet Larry. My boy. Gee. I'm sure looking forward to using this. Not. <laughs> Sal, no need for the sauce. Hey, there's a Gear Boy game in here. I can't tell what game it is. The label's been ripped off. It's pretty beat up. Let's play on the Gear Boy. My Gear Boy, with some weird game I found in the basement. This may take a while. Uh, okay. It's not letting me play. Right? Hmm. This game is all jacked up. Can I only play it in a certain place? Interesting. I didn't know that. Vending machine. Lots of tasty junk food. I'm not really hungry, though. I have my junk food right here. Hmm. Oh god, that's horrible. Ugh. What the hell was that? Um, creepy ghost. Don't like that. It's exactly like my bathroom, except this one has pink curtain. I mean, pizza, Larry. Baby Larry. 
Okay, I wonder whose room that is. It's locked. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry? Your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved in to 402. Oh, hey! Come on in! Door's open! Whoa! Nice mask! It's, a uh, prosthetic. Oh, shit! Sorry, man. That's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face on there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, uh, change the subject then, yeah? Uh, I'm Larry. I live down here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? Huh, well, I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they- so once the asshole started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name- I'm oh, sorry, I got it mixed up then. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I owned the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. I should be wearing my glasses, cause my words are getting- the words are getting mixed up. But okay. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Stel? You're pretty strange, I like you. We're gonna get along great. Huh, <laughs> that's what your mom said. Mother knows best. Why do you live in the basement? Oh, well, my mom always says it's because we've got to guard the place from rats. But I'm pretty sure she gets this room rent-free from the maintenance gig. It's cool, though. I don't mind it. I gotta listen to music as loud as I want to when she's not around. Nice. Yeah, it's like my own little back cave. I like your shirt. Yeah, thanks. It stands for Sally Face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... Yeah, yeah, actually, it's for this metal band called Sanity's Fall. Do you like metal? Yeah, I do. I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out the song. It's their first single. Its full, its full album comes out in a few months. I like metal. Don't look at I don't look like a dude, do I? <laughs> Yeah, go for it, Larry! <laughs> Rock it out, Sal! <laughs> I don't want my evidence to go flying off. Okay, let's carry on. What happens in 4 of 3? Shh! Not so loud, man! What? What is it? The killer's still in the building! How do you know that? I saw it happen! Are you high right now? I wish I was, man! That was some scary shit! What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with a clogged toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him bust in, yelling like a lunatic! I know what you've done! Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch! She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cut his throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man. Just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast, and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. Nice cover with the music. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, the big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Oh god, the music stopped now so I can stop shouting. I don't even know if you hear it anymore. <laughs> okay, shouldn't you call cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Why my word isn't enough. <laughs> my legs dead. Oh crap. Just nearly pulled out my headphones. What's up with the guy in 103? Oh, that's Mr. Addison. Oh, that's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just really strange. Oh yeah, and if you say Addison T, please and thank you, 
To him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate this stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. Spiked. Okay. Mm, that's all I can say to Larry right now. Oh. Alright, I know. Press the wrong button. Nice. Yeah, it's like a bird cave. See you later. What's this thing? Oh, that's a that's a police scanner. I can listen to I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did you get this? That's a story for another day. But hey, you gotta get you just gave me a great idea, dude. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into four three, huh? Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something that something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for a break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here, and <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. Been wanting to peek in that room anyways. Sweet! So, uh, what's the plan? I'll call it a bank robbery hostage situation or something, and that should clear up the cops for sure. I'm guessing they'll that'll be that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that so we can make those minutes count. We can we can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. Then I can give you a heads up too. One, then I can give you a heads up too, dude. Once I know the cops are co aren't coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe switch the bank robbery with arm robbery at like a gas station or a drugstore. Make it a bit more believable. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here. Take this and head to your room, and let me know when you're ready. Just press that Y button there to call me. Let's try it. Sally, my man, I'm right here, you big goof. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I was just making sure that there was nothing else to say to him. I like your paintings. Thanks, dude. It's my passion. Cool. I like I like drawing and painting too. Except when Larry is for some reason drawing my uh, past. It's like my dreams, the wall, the dog, the tree, my mum's funeral. Bit weird. Okay. So I've got to go upstairs. And wait for Larry, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna go up. Maybe stop and talk to Lisa on the way. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Sal. What's up? I met Larry. I couldn't think which one to choose. Oh, wonderful! I glad I'm glad you kids got to meet. Me too. He's good. He's, it's good to have a friend again. Larry's a nice guy. I knew you two would get along. So I didn't need to think about it. Uh, do you need any help? Are you poking fun at me for mopping the same spot for so long? Well, I like to be thorough, but to be honest, sometimes my mind just wanders and I lose track of time. That's cool. I'm the same way. I could tell you're a creative type like my Larry. I'm glad you two are getting along. Sometimes I worry about him. Choices matter! I'll keep him out of trouble. What do you mean by that? He didn't tell you about, uh... What have you been talking about? Seems to be something he's not telling me. Oh, don't take it personal, Sal. I was just a quiet type, you know? Yeah, I can be too sometimes. Give him some time and he'll warm up to you. I'm going back to talk to Larry before I go to four. Oh, no. Okay. I thought there might have been something different because I've talked to his mom. Never mind. Let's go to our room and call Larry. Just 
Let's go check on Dad. At least he's trying now, not drowning himself in booze. Not totally giving up on life. On me. Hey, a quarter. Score. Hey, I got some money. Okay, let's go into my room. Gizmo. Uh, why? Okay, I'm in my room now. Uh, I'm tangled up in my wire. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. And while you do that, I have drink. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get in 403 now. Dun dun dun. Sorry. I'm gonna mix up with where the doors are. That took too long. I thought my game had crashed. Okay, let's go. Why is this taking so fucking long to go between? Jeez. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like some junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. <laughs> You're telling me. There's these little figures. Looks like one's missing. I can see a, sm I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm? Ah, oh, that's it! I know how we can get him! Get out of there and come down to the basement! Hey, that didn't take so long. Okay. Oh, Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was totally- but she was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's how- that's why you offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, that's crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I stuck in a 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me, man. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Fucking fatty. Alright, alright. I'll do it. I won't be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally Face. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I feel like you've done this before? Ugh, nah, 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 I just watch too, way too much TV, dude. Get out, live a bit. <sighs> so is this place haunted or what? What? Not this again. Did Chug put you up to this? No, I just got a weird feeling about it. Who's Chug? He's the big kid on three. Usually can't miss him, but anyways, I don't believe in ghosts. Never seen one from with my own own eyes, you know. I guess so. Uh, did I say the one three? I think that was Addison. What's up with the guy in one o three? Well, that's Mrs. Addison. Yeah, blah blah blah. Yeah, I need to go and get tea. Yeah, yeah. Play that Sunday Fall song again. Sure. <laughs> Rock it out, so. <laughs> Music actually sounds further away when you're far away. Kind of cool. All right, let's go. And then there's just silence when you leave the room. Okay, let's go. Is 
So I gotta go and get tea from Addison. I'm gonna go up each floor. I like backtracking. Hello, young sir, new resident of Addison Apartments 402. How may I be of service? Addison tea, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up! There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Thank you. Addison tea. It has a funny smell to it. Definitely not drinking this stuff. A plastic baggie that I can use to grab the pony toy from Charlie's room. A quarter. I found it on the floor in my dad's room. I'm sure you won't miss it. Uh, let's try talking to Larry. Sally Faye's my man, good luck. Howdy. Thanks. Okay, I'm going up every floor, so I'm on floor one now. Go to three. Aha, yes! Hey. Whoa, uh, hey! I'm Sal. I just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug! Uh, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice meeting you, Chug. How did you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? What nickname? Oh, uh, uh, ne never mind. Do you think this building is haunted? <gasps> Why? Did you see something too? Uh, yeah, I think so. Knew it! I knew it! I knew I'm not crazy! So, you've seen that old man? Old man? No. I think it's just some cra crazy homeless dude that sleeps on five sometimes. But I did see- But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier stuff than that old bum. Like things moving all by their own, and weird noises and stuff, you know? Like, that kind of thing? I keep trying to tell everybody, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Aw, oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl. I thought it was homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I used my key to lock the bathroom to door shut, shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, I found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No, wait. Not going in there. Ghost living there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check to make sure it's safe? Can't you just give you the key? But maybe you can trade me for something for it. Wanna trade? If you let me borrow that key, I could give you, um. You're not having my gear, boy. I need the tea. You're not having the walkie talkie, so. Quarter. Oh man, heck yeah, I'll take it! <laughs> Thank you, that was so easy. Good luck, man. Good luck, and thanks for the quarter. Be careful up there, it's so spooky. I'm gonna go right up there. <laughs> I will carry on with what I'm supposed to do, but I wanna go check out up here. Well, the dude's not back. The, the bathroom, with the creepy handprints. Is, is anyone here? It's okay. I won't hurt you. I'm a friend. You are? Y yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? In your hair? That's for girls, silly. Huh. Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. <laughs> I never thought of it. I never thought of that. You're a funny boy. Why are you crying before? Everyone always runs away from me when I t try to talk to them. I get so lonely up here all alone. I can understand that. I get lonely sometimes too. It must be hard being by yourself. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... Hello? Little girl? Are you still there? Huh. Chug, what are you doing here? Asking myself the same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, 
but you were gone for so long. I need to check on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good. Good. So I was uh, thinking maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Alright. I'll hold on to it, but you can barter it any anytime you want. Okay. Deal. I really don't like this room. Okay. Uh, I'm going back, because I feel like I missed something. Ooh. Oh my god! Ooh, ooh, okay. I've never got this before. My my gear boy with some weird game I found in the basement. Oh god, that was loud. Oh, start, okay. Upon waking from its grave, a lowly skeleton rises t rises to the world of the living once more. Plagued with despair, the old pile of bones struggle to push forward so that it may be released of the shackles binding it to this life. Oh no, I have done this one. Okay. The graveyard. Okay. The grave I have dug my way out of mirrored the condition of my soul. Empty, cold, and dark. Okay. I'm just going back and forward. As I looked upon the my sister's grave. Great sadness came over me, only to be burned away by a sudden rage that swelled within my heart. I'm clicking everything. The worn stone of my grandfather's grave reminded me of how he, he passed before I was born. My, grandma, my grandmother was one of the kindest people I had ever known. Cemetery gates were locked. I need to find a key in order to proceed. Uh, key, key. Uh, ready up. My father's grave was hidden at the very edge of the cemetery, cast away by remaining family, only to be included in our burial plot for legal reasons. Key, get! The courtyard. Okay, always start left. The old swing swayed gently in the wind, taunting me with memories of youth and happiness. Trees. The fire pit was filled with coal and ash, but some of the bits within seemed strange and foreign to me. I couldn't quite reach inside on my own to examine the remains, so I need something to get it. In my living years, I had many happy moments on that bench. Sometimes with the company of my sister or mother, or sometimes just myself. And the peaceful solitude of the courtyard. The door was locked and the house remained vacant all these years later. It towered over me, asserting its ominous presence. Can't go that way. I noticed a twig hanging low and broke it off. I prodded through the ash with the stick I had found. At the bottom of the pit I discovered a gruesome sight. Pieces of human bone and teeth. Anger and sorrow swirled through my bones in a hurricane-like fashion. I have a key! <laughs> The house. The stone fireplace that once brought warmth into our lives now sat silent in the absence of life. The dining room set was dishevelled. One chair had been tipped over and broken wine glass lay beside several scuff marks on the table. My mother had loved her wine, perhaps too much. Though I couldn't blame her. I noticed something under the chair. It was the key I had been looking for. I didn't even realise I was looking for the key. 
his stuff. All of the plants were withered. The filing cabinet was locked. I have to find another key. My father had spent his life behind that desk. Piles of paper surrounded an ashtray filled with the rem remnants of many cigarettes. My father. Um, the cabinet was filled with business files, tax documents, and miscellaneous office supplies. In one of the drawers, I saw a picture of my parents. In it, they were younger and happy, a sight I wasn't used to. Another locked door, as if the house itself was trying to keep me from venturing deeper into my past. I noticed a book that seemed out of place. When I pulled it out, a key fell to the ground. Hey. In the top drawer, I saw telephone records with multiple times circled. Beneath that were pictures of what looked like my mother having lunch with another man. And key, get. Her room. The fragmented memories of my past began to come together. The pieces of me I had lost along the way. The horror I hid from. Reality had returned to me. Room 504. Give me a Her eyes turned from me, and my heart grew dark and twisted with hatred. All that I have once loved is now gone. I have put an end to it all. The burden of living is far too great to bear any longer. Please forgive me. Where did you get that game? I f found it downstairs in the lost and found box. It's a pretty strange game. There's no label on it. It reminded me of something. What is it? I... I can't. I'm sorry. Please leave me alone. <sighs> Damn! This will keep that creep up. Oh shit! <laughs> Just... Oops. Okay, so... That on the floor... That I didn't mean to, but that's a laxative. <laughs> That's a laxative. <laughs> and I've just put it in the Addison tea. Okay. I really don't like this room. Okay, Chug, let's, let's go. Okay, so accidentally I put the laxative, the very old laxative by the look of it, in um the tea. <laughs> but... Uh, I'll get back to that at some point. <laughs> How's it going, officer? <laughs> Don't you get tired of standing there all day? <laughs> Any news on finding the killer? If I find... <laughs> if I found out you've tampered with police evidence, well, you better pray I don't find out. Okay, dude. Just asking a question. Uh, Dad's asleep, so I'll leave him. Let's just go to Charlie. Every other door was locked, so let's just go. <laughs> okay, so I can't talk to him. Oh, great. Ugh, is that Alison T I smell? Uh, yeah, I just got a- I just got some from- Ugh, oh, I just love adding some tea. Give it here! Yeah, you slap that. Ugh, oh, so tasty, so relaxing. Ugh, oh, I'm very this is sitting right in my- Ugh, oh, I 
think. He's gonna blow. Run. Oh, I have to go right now. Yeah, you go. You don't uh, touch anything while I. Uh, just don't touch anything. W Glorious. Okay, let's go. Got the toy. Score. Run away. Sally face, my man. Good luck. Fuck you, Larry. Ugh. I'm gonna go down to Larry again. Because I don't know if I'm supposed to go straight to the cop or go to Larry. I got the toy. I'll ride Mr. Smooth Criminal. I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give that to the detective and it'll be all over. Okay, let's go. <laughs> I came down here for a fuck all. Hey, detective? Hello, Cell. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking to that Larry boy? I can't put much faith on a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help. I do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from sp spread rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room, right? How did you get this? I, w I was just uh, saying hello to my neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. And I was uh, in ta I was talking to Charlie in his room, and he was showing me all his toys, and then I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Oh well, a little detective in training, huh? Haha, <laughs> not bad, kid. I'll hold on to this. Just remember next time, you come to us with this info instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes sir, you got it. Oh, I can knock on that door now. No one's happy. Okay. Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. I'm innocent, I swear! I thought you were my friend! No, you creeper. Bringing smiles to the dead. No one was around, so I looked in the back of the window of the van. Hmm. Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years and already you have witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess. And all these years later, new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars. How did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you said. What about Larry? What about him? Like you've said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. You seem to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is going is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal, I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help unless you are completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. I don't even know what frickin' accent I'm giving him. Wait. I... Uh... It's about Larry. Sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are with the schedule. Please, keep that for thought for our next session. <laughs> next week will be our last meeting before your trial. So I hope you'll let me help you.
I don't think you're a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. Okay, so that was the end of chapter one of Sally Face. Uh, I think it was called Strange Neighbours. So yeah, that was Sally Face, and hopefully this has turned out right for the first time ever for me, and I can actually put it up on my channel. Um, if the music was loud in places, I'm sorry. I'll figure that out for next time. It's a bit tricky with the, with the mouse and the. Uh, it's a bit tricky with the keyboard and the controller because I can't use my mouse to do it, which is weird. But anyway, yes. Sally face. Sorry about my unimaginative voices. I'm not very good at doing men's voices. Well, I think I did all right with Sal, Sal and Larry. <laughs> Larry, my boy. Oh my god, I love him. So yes. Um, tell me what you guys think. Like, I'm definitely gonna carry on the game, but I just want to know what you guys think of this game because I love point and click games and stuff like that. So yeah. So. Hope you guys enjoyed my Sally face. Um, and if you want to see my Gear Boy, my my Gear Boy that I made, uh, tell me in the comments, and you know I'll put a photo up on my Instagram if you want to see that as well. But yes, Sally face chapter one. Thanks, guys. See you later.